So, you just got a one wheel point X. Getting it out of the box is so exciting. I know I was so stoked to get mine. I'm 12 years old, and this video is about what I did to get ready to ride, and how I made it through my first day owning a one wheel. If you've never watched my channel before, I'm a ninja warrior. Oh, look at the big deal. He's going now. He's cooking with gas. Aaron I'm Sir used to doing obstacles. And I would say my balance is pretty good. Well, most of the time. But I expected to be able to balance on the one wheel Pintex right away. Getting on the one wheel in the house was actually pretty easy since the board self balances itself. And I didn't have any trouble going at slow speeds. Although it was really hard, surprisingly, just to avoid the little things in the house. But before I took it outside, I had a couple of accessories to put on. Even though I love the look of the powder blue side rails on the Pintex and the naked wheel that makes a one wheel, well, a one wheel, <laughs> I have some things to cover them both up. I got some reflective sidekicks from the Float Life to protect the rails and make the board more visible at night. And also a navy blue fender from Future Motion to keep rocks and dirt from flying up and hitting my legs and getting the foot pads all dirty. The sidekicks were easy to install. They basically have this adhesive on the back and you peel the cover off them and then you line them up to where you want them on the rails. And they're pretty forgiving if you mess up and need to readjust where you put them, because I did it. <laughs> Once you have them where you want them, peel back the clear plastic layer over the front part of the rail guards and you're pretty much good to go. And for the fender, I've seen posts online about the noise. With people complaining how noisy it was from rocks hitting the bottom of the fender, so I used painters tape to cover up a lot of the areas where I didn't want the spray to go, and I just left the underside of the fender exposed. Then I got some of this spray on mobilized undercoating on Amazon. I sprayed three coats on the underside of the fender, waiting about five minutes between the coats. Then I let it dry for a few hours. It seemed to deaden the sound a little, but it definitely did not eliminate it. After I peeled off the painter's tape, the installation wasn't that bad either. The bracket next to the wheel needed to be removed and it was just held in by four screws. Once you remove those four screws, place the fender back in that same spot and use the same four screws that you took out and put them back in. After that, I was ready to ride! Video I knew it was going to be a lot of fun. Just like in the house, getting on it and riding straight on a flat surface was pretty easy. But turning was a little harder than I expected. I fell a couple of times trying to turn, and running off road was more of a challenge than I thought. But overall, I felt pretty good about day one. I never took any bad spills. According to the app, my speed topped out at around 13 miles per hour and I traveled about five miles.
So, to wrap it up, I think it was a pretty good day. I expect to put so much more time and miles on this one-wheel Pintex. Thanks for watching and have a great day.